The DLC for Black Ops Cold War keeps on coming as today Treyarch has added new DLC and we're going to check it all out in this video. Now this is technically the third piece of year two DLC we've received since March. And if this content release pattern continues, then we could be looking at Cold War DLC every single month. Let me know your thoughts on that as well as your thoughts on the content added today. But jumping straight in, there are three things that are the focus of today's DLC drop. Starting with what is arguably the biggest point for most players, especially if you play Cold War and Warzone is a brand new SMG added, which is the UGR. This is accurate and deadly firing steel darts that penetrate even the thickest armory. Interestingly enough, this is a underwater rifle modified for improved land performance. And if you guys played Call of Duty Ghosts campaign, there's an underwater mission called Into the Deep, which features this gun that's now available. I'm surprised that outside of that game, we've never actually gotten it before. But in order to unlock this, you will need to eliminate 1000 enemies in zombie zombies while using an epic rarity or better SMG. Now, if like me, you recently done the zombie super easter egg to unlock yourself the epic rarity loadout, you can spawn in with any SMG and it will already be an epic rarity being that purple. And all you need to do is just get a thousand zombie kills. If you just jump into a quick game of zombies, you should have no problem getting that done by about the mid to late twenties. Now, if like me, you're a little lazy and you just want to get your hands on it right away, then you can get access to it via a bundle in the store. Now, this bundle does doesn't just include this weapon, but this is a brand new operator added in today to Black Ops Cold War, which is Lazar from the Black Ops Cold War campaign. Now, if you've played that campaign, slight spoilers, but he might have died in your version of the campaign. So seeing him here is a little bit strange, but at the same time, is Black Ops, anything can happen. And I think it's fantastic that we're getting a new operator in the game. So if you get the Lazar operator bundle, not only will you unlock Lazar's operator skin, we also get the dealmaker SMG blueprint for the UGR that you can see I'm using in game right now, which looks pretty awesome. And it has some interesting attachments set up right away so that it can deal a little bit more damage. Not only that, but you also get the deal breaker assault rifle blueprint, as well as a pretty gnarly finishing move called unlikely volunteer, as well as a bunch of accessories, charms, calling cards, emblems, reticles, and a gesture, which is interesting as you're drinking a bottle of vodka and it gave me some Nikolai Belinsky vibes and reminds me how much I miss those characters. But yeah, awesome bundle. And if you do decide to get that, then please go ahead and feel free to consider using code Dalek in the store before you pick it up if you want to support me directly. But jumping back to the UGR weapon, let's talk about how it is inside of zombies. Of course, since we're a zombies channel, multiplayer, I'm sure it's pretty decent, but we care about zombies here. Now, as it's an SMG, it's obviously not going to be as versatile as bringing in something like an assault rifle when it comes to range. The base version has a clip of 30 bullets and it has a total of 330 bullets. So that's 11 mags and it's fairly strong. But again, I'm spawning here with an epic rarity version of it. So of course it will be better than normal. But I feel because of how unique this weapon is and the fact that it shoots steel darts that it might not be the greatest SMG for you to use inside of zombies. Now, of course, we've got to get this thing pack a punch. So upgrading it, it becomes the Bufo toxin as we can see we have a lot more ammo there 56 bullets in a clip for a total of around 556 bullets i do think the design of the smg is really nice especially with this version of it where we have this sight on top of it it really doesn't make it feel like an smg it does feel a little bit like a ar smg hybrid of sorts and here we are on round 25 with this thing fully upgraded three times as well as getting it to the gold rarity that legendary rarity and as you can see, it's pretty good. But again, I wouldn't put it up there as one of the best weapons that we've seen in recent months added to Cold War Zombies. I wanted to keep playing until we got the order boss fight just to see how good it was. But again, it's an SMG. So I don't really think it's a viable weapon to use against really long range bosses. But if you're interested in knowing how to unlock this weapon inside of multiplayer using an SMG, you need to kill an enemy revealed by your spy plane, UAV or field mic in 15 different completed matches. And if it wasn't obvious enough, this weapon also shoots green tracer rounds and it comes equipped with the explosive 
flesh its attachment, which focus on speed, accuracy, and zoom with that two times scope, which is actually a really good build when it comes to the third and final edition of the new year two DLC today, which is the addition of a new multiplayer map being Jungle. Now it's been rumored for a little while now that Jungle was coming to Black Ops Cold War, but it's finally here. The original Black Ops series classic is now in the game. There's a dedicated playlist for it and it looks and plays really, really nicely. Now, yes, it is a port from Black Ops 4 multiplayer, but you had to get the Black Ops pass to get this map. And I just feel that it suits this game a lot more than it did in Black Ops 4. And there have been a few little adjustments to the Black Ops 4 version. And that's the addition of little snakes that they've added around the map. Just little bits of detail here and there that make it stand out. And uh, yeah, I'm just so happy that they're adding some really good content into Black Ops Cold War. Now, I know when we spoke about Lazar earlier, you probably have questions going, hang on a minute, where is Ravenov? Why is he not in the game? And it seems that there was a very recent decision internally by Treyarch and Activision that maybe it wasn't a good idea to have a Russian operator added into Black Ops Cold War with respect to what's currently happening within the world. So they quick last minute switched it up and we now have Lazar. And there's no doubt about it, Ravanov is just leagues ahead of Lazar, but at least it's something. And very excitingly, Call of Duty released a blog post detailing all of this new stuff. And at the end, they said, expect even more content throughout 2022 for Black Ops Cold War. Keep your eyes out for an upcoming melee weapon for use in multiplayer, zombies, and Warzone, and watch for new operator skins, weapon blueprints, finishing moves, calling cards, charms, emblems, and other cosmetics arriving in a new series of store bundles throughout the months to come. Execute the mission. Now, due to hackers and leakers, we know that this upcoming melee weapon is going to be a scythe melee weapon, and this was supposed to be in the same bundle as Ravenov, so it's likely that that's going to be reworked into a different store bundle, but what's crazy is that hackers that gifted themselves that bundle can look at it and everything's still there including the scythe but Ravanov has been completely removed so that is a real shame because I know he'd be a very popular operator but on top of everything that Black Ops Cold War got today Vanguard and Warzone also got an incredible tracer pack Godzilla bundle it arrived early to prepare for the Operation Monarch event that starts next week and you get this incredible operator skin that looks just like Godzilla and then you got the breath of Godzilla blueprint for the STG-44, which looks phenomenal, as well as a really, really good skin for one of the LMGs as well. And on top of that, the execution is just disgustingly cool. If you guys are picking that up or maybe waiting for the King Kong bundle, you can pop code Dalek in your store when you pick those up and they support me directly. And I'd love to thank you guys over on Twitter for anyone that uses my code, as I really do appreciate it. But that's going to wrap up the video. Let me know your thoughts. You can check out another one of my videos on your screen right now. Click it. I'll be with you in just a few moments.